so first off, what, what is your philosophy of, of command, really? It's a great, great question. Uh, we are absolutely certain that we will fight in the future. Our job is not to get it 100% correct. We just don't want to get it completely wrong. In my military career, I was a flight engineer and an uh, aircraft mechanic You know, when I was about 25 years old. And so long as you continue along this line, so long as you remember somebody on the other side is watching, hoping that you're not at the top of your game, that you're not reading, that you're not working out, that you're not strong spiritually, then they're going to think they've got you. You want to always be the toughest, the sharpest out there. The main thing that supports the military mindset is that there's this idea of separation, that you are different than me, that uh, you know, your country is different than my country. And as a, as a Zen monk, what we're realizing is that we're all the same. There is no separation. And in that regard, uh, there's nothing new really under the sun. I was in the infantry, and the infant is known as infantry, infant soldier, young soldier. They've got to be able to do very bad things without becoming bad or evil in the process. We don't do it for any reason at all. In that regard, uh, the Marine Corps' view of leadership is very, very simple. Uh, that you have a father-son, teacher, scholar relationship. To me, I, I just found the right person to talk to. Mm -hmm. Right person. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, war is war, I accept that. We are going to cut off the head and destroy it. You'll find that you will face nothing new under the sun. But our self is a very much peaceful, basically, or fundamental. Uh, we are absolutely certain that we will fight in the future. But really, we're only trying to find out if it's the truth of who we are. And the answer is... Uh, war is war, I accept that. That we're everything and nothing at the same time.